Hey folks, this is Adria, and I'm doing a follow-up to the video I did about how to convert your iPhone um, voice memos over to MP3. I keep getting these questions from people asking, well, how do I find the file? So I'm not really sure how they can't find the file, but I'll show you how you can find the file. So in order to convert um, these files to um, MP3, let's go ahead and click on one. I'm going to do get info. I do this a lot. Um, for um, my public speaking gigs, I go ahead and I convert these to MP3. We'll see here that, you know, when I recorded this on the iPhone, it turned into an M4A, right? That's just Apple doing its thing to be proprietary. So you have to go into your preferences and um, on the first tab, general, you want to go to import settings and make sure that it's on MP3. That way when you bring stuff in, it'll change it to mp3 versus AAC, which is proprietary again. So I've already set to mp3, I'm good to go. Um, one of the things you can do in order to more easily find your files is before you convert it, rename it. So in this case, I'm going to say my thoughts on pizza. Now I really don't remember what this actual file is about, but let's just, let's just pretend that I'm gonna call it my thoughts on pizza, right? And I should probably put in the letter A so it says pizza. Now what I would do is go ahead and right click on it and then go ahead and do create mp3 version. Um, this option is also available up here in the advanced. So you can see up here it says converting and then it has the date, my thoughts on pizza. When this gets done, we'll be able to do a search for it in iTunes and find it. So then I'll be uploading this to YouTube. All right, and that file is almost done. There we go, it makes a happy noise. So you'll see I have been over here in my voice memos. I only see my original voice memos. Where would this where would this MP3 file be? Well, let's go back up here. And I know you're looking at all my awesome remixes. Yes, 90s music, watch out. Anyway, let's go up here to music and now we have all the stuff. Well, what's this? My thoughts on pizza. Oh, that's the same one. That's still M4A. Where is this new one? I don't know yet, but what we can do is do a search. So I'm just gonna type um, thoughts on, oh, pizza. Oh no, there it is. So I'm not sure which one it is, but nope, that's the same one. But here, here in fact, is the MP3 it's created. And the cool thing now with Windows 7 is you can just say show in Windows Explorer or copy path. And then now you have that URL in your clipboard. Um, so that's one way to do it. If you didn't rename it beforehand, you could still search like here, it says 79, 2009. I could type that in as well. Um, another thing you could do is let's say that I wasn't going to you know, type in the words. You can always search by date added. And you'll notice that this is the new one and it's dated today, which is um, 223. And that is our MP3. So those are two ways to go ahead and find your newly created MP3 um, voice memo in iTunes. Hope that helps. Till next time, embrace your inner nerd.